Hello everyone who likes big guns, big missiles, and everything in between. That makes literally no sense, sorry. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Totally scientific combat testing for the sake of science. And today it's Crams vs. Missiles, because there's some interesting parallels between the two weapon types. And also I wanted to see things get blown up. And by the way, Please share this video around because this cram ship you see in front of you took like three separate attempts to build. Like entirely separate, like rebuild, redoing everything over from scratch three times and it made me hate myself. So if everyone could at the very least share this video so people could look at these turrets, that would be really cool of you. Thank you. But anyway, so crams versus missiles. Uh, crams and missiles both are... High Alpha Strike weapons, at least that's the idea, they are both compact, and they're both among the simplest weapons to use in the game, apart from simple weapons themselves. And, but the big difference is, is that whereas missiles go for very expensive, um, essentially guided firepower, uh, cram cannons are more about material efficiency. So, cram cannons are, uh, according to the people who do the math, some of the most raw damage efficient weapons in the entire game, especially if you build them right. Uh, and missiles are just kind of not, simply because they're so damn expensive and they have so many countermeasures. More on that later. So, first off, I'm, well, it's not even the first thing. Uh, these ships do not have active defenses on them because I wanted to keep it fairly simple. This is actually my second attempt at recording this, which is why I'm a little flustered, because uh, both these ships dish out a fair amount of EMP damage, and I forgot to put surge protectors on either of them. So, um, first attempt, the fights were really short, let's just say that. So, uh, what is QBC? Well, firstly, cram ship was the first one I made. Uh, going back, first we have this little thing that was actually added last. Is this just a little timed frag cram cannon? Uh, just for giggles, mostly. I don't think it's very effective. Honestly, I should have gotten rid of it and replaced it with something else. But there it is. And... Yep, it's set to the correct accuracy. That's nice. Uh, then we have the main guns. And honestly, these are some of the prettiest terrorist caps I've made. I showed them off on the community page a long time ago. Uh, back when I first, well, made round one. So that was a while ago. That's what I've been doing since then. Struggling to make a ship. Also, this is more battle cruiser than battleship, really. It's quite long and skinny. Or at least, it look, feels long and skinny. Uh, Dad, don't take that out of context, please. But anyway, so uh, these... I should show you the stats of these cram cannons. This one is kind of meh. It is, like, 1300 millimeters, like 180 degree fragments, doing about over 13,000 damage each. It's mostly there for emotional support. Uh, this, on the other hand is a tooth max gauge 2000 millimeter uh, AP party mix so mostly hardener some 18 frag and just a smidge of EMP for zappy zappy flavor and I do have to say immense apologies to the people who love cram tetris this is 2d tetris and uh, there's a uh, three reasons for that firstly laziness this was my third attempt making this bloody ship and I just got sick and tired of doing 3D Tetris all over all over and over again, because it's more time consuming. Uh, secondly, um, we're going up against missiles, which are like, even 2D Cram Tetris, you end up with something more material efficient than, you know, missiles anyway, so it's like, doesn't make that much of a difference. It possibly does, I don't know, I have mixed feelings on this turret, honestly. Uh, but thirdly, I found that uh, you get better firepower per volume. Um, with 2D Tetris. Like, it's something I've suspected. It's not something I've ever really seen or heard anyone else talked about, so maybe I'm just doing my 3D Tetris wrong. That's always a possibility, but for this case, um, for a cram turret of this size, doing the things I wanted to do, which is something strong enough to put, like, you know, a hole through an Eerie, which has a really annoyingly strong lambs, this is the turret that managed it. The turrets I made earlier, like of similar size with 3D Tetris, they couldn't do it. Their shells weren't strong enough. So, either I'm an idiot or 2D Tetris is just kind of more firepower to volume efficient than 3D is, if only because it has more pellets stuck in there. It is, like, almost twice as expensive, though. So it's like, you know, 
if you build beyond a certain size, 3D is actually what you should be doing. But yeah, it's still a pretty strong cram cannon. It can uh, put a hole straight through something and make a big mess. And uh, the all these big turrets are the same. And then you've got these turrets here, which I also am regretting a little bit because they're mainly here for emotional support and as placeholders for uh, cramwares in the second version of this video, which I'm probably going to make later. Or maybe I should just make that and you'll never see this. We'll see. We'll just have to see. So this is just basically um, kind of a crappy little secondary cram set to 10% packing usually. And all it does is fire like little kinetic shells at it that don't do much. But uh, it's cute and adorable and it, I like looking at it. Possibly not my best idea. Also, superstructure, I kind of ended up liking it. I... You won't believe this, I struggled to make it look like this. I was looking at reference of the Iowa, the, like the USS Iowa, the battleship. You might have heard of her, and um, yeah, this is what ins this is where that inspiration led. I, I don't know, like, leave me alone. But anyway, we should also talk about the, um, the missile ship. So in the front here, we've got medium missiles. All these missiles have basically got the same idea behind them, which is... EMP, Explosive Frag, six Degrees, Signal Processor, APN Guidance. So, right there, we've got the medium missiles. Over here, we have the large missiles. Same story. And over here, the huge missiles. Over here. And same thing on the back here. And these little missile turrets are just uh, kinetic EMP. Uh, just so they, you know, punch things in the face and give a little bit of a zappy zap. So, the missile ship is already much more EMP heavy than the cram ship is. And what else can we talk about? Let's talk about uh, defenses. It's just armor for the most part. Uh, did have to add surge protectors like I mentioned. And let's just do this. And we can go forward back. Cut above. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. What the hell? Huh. Not what I wanted to do at all. Why did it, Why... Cut above, let's go here. So this yonder is the armor at its max thickness. It's about, it is a layer of alloy, metal beam slope, alloy, metal, alloy, metal, metal. Not the best armor in the world, uh, but a lot of the stuff is gonna come in from above and that's what these big empty spaces are here for, with the engines just stuck right down there in the bottom. And if we, whoops, if we do this and Push it back to where a barbette is. There we go. What you see here is that the barbettes actually have a similar level of armor. You got, uh, you got alloy, metal beam slope, and then kind of sandwiched uh, from top to bottom alloy and metal. And there's alloy in there just to make the barbettes a little bit lighter. Uh, simply because this thing already is kind of prone to tipping over a little bit and. Uh, we don't like that. We don't want that to happen too much. So there's a little bit of a compromise uh, in the barbette uh, right there. As for what else can we talk about? Let's get rid of this actually. So and cut it off. And let's talk about propulsion. It's got two uh, pretty big medium uh, propellers back here. And they go back here and they have a lot of crank motors and wheels attached to them, so they spin very fast. And fun fact, I forgot that uh, crank motors are vulnerable to EMP, so that's, um, again, another reason this is the second attempt at recording this particular setup, is because, excuse me, is because uh, these things got cooked immediately, and immobilization happened, and that made the fight like, well, okay, so much for that, I guess. And yeah, that's why there's surge protectors in here, lots of them. Surge protectors are expensive, like... Yeah, they're just, um... They're just really, like... They're just really pricey for, like, what they do. What they do is very important, but yeah. And I hope this kind of rubber insulation and surge protector thing uh, works out really well. I sincerely hope so. And yeah, that's basically it. The engines are more efficient than the last time I did a combat test. I got roasted slightly uh, and deservedly for that. So power per material is about uh, just over 700 uh, ppm. Power per material, ppm, yes. So all they are is a cylinder turbochargers, uh, three on each cylinder and three on each carburetor, so to speak. 
and that makes it pretty damn efficient. And lots of radiators for lots of cooling, so lots of efficiency, and it's very nice. And the second version of this fight, where I stick active defenses on both these ships, appropriate ones, big as lamb system, missile interceptors, and uh, all that other kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, th that's what all this room in the middle is for. It's gonna be, it's gonna be different. So yeah, that just about does it for the overview of uh, these two ships. That was 10 minutes of your life that unfortunately you're not getting back because I don't want to give it back. Ha ha. Actually, that was just a joke. Please don't be mad. So we're going to do 1v1s, uh, best, of, uh, best of 3, 1v1, and then we're going to do best of 3, uh, 3v2, 3 cram ships versus 2 missile ships because... Um, the cram ship is around 600k, the missile ship is around 900k, or just over 950k actually. So it's gonna be kind of even, but not quite. This is kind of scientific. Really, if I was a super scientist, I would, uh, super scientist? Or just a scientist at all, I would get exact numbers. But anyway, uh, let's go blow things up in the custom battle setup. See you there. Alrighty tidy, here we are, we have the missile ship. 950k of Guided Doom. Is that the missile ship? Yes, it is. Uh, versus the old timey cram ship with battleshipy, battle cruiser type uh, guns. And now they will fight. And here they go. So, by the way, I pretty much can guarantee you that uh, the missile ship is going to win the 1v1 simply because that missile alpha strike is just so damn strong. And. But the first blood goes to cram cannons because, weirdly enough, those shells are faster than the missiles and they make a bit of a mess. Also, I just realized I once again forgot to change the AI uh, on the missile ship and uh, they're not turning fast enough. And that is a bit of a bummer, honestly. Where are the huge missiles? I want to see them. Whee! So, as you've probably noticed, uh, the lead is suddenly uh, very much in favor of the missile ship. Deacon's Christmas superstructure never stood a chance. And this is why big ass thick barbettes and... Holy crap, okay. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, looks like uh, the surge protectors are doing their job because the cram ship isn't blinded, or looks less blinded at least and has not been immobilized either, so already this fight is better than the last time I tried to do things. Although that does look kind of blinded. Wah! Whee! Yep, this is a much more even fight once the EMP is less of an Deacon's hell, yeah. Wow, this is way more even now. This is the difference that um, decent EMP protection can make. It looks like, though. Nope. That is the missile ship. That is the cram ship. It looks like uh, the cram ship is just actually eating it a little bit. Let's see what's happened. Or not, I thought she'd been immobile. What? Just fell off there. That's a lot of blocks. That looks like... By the way, no torpedoes because, I don't know, I guess I'm just dumb. Wow, that looks like a direct hit. Yep, direct hit on a turret, but it's managed... Managed to shrug that off. Bloody legend. But yeah, so uh, the unseen footage, which has been deleted in its shame, uh, which you will never see, sorry to say, um... The missile ship pretty much won instantly because it just turned off all the detection on the cram ship with big ass missiles with big ass EMP jolts. Also, I do have to say it's been the first time in a long time I've ever made like a a pure missile ship, and I do have to say it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun just to watch a big missiles just arc up and head off to their destination to absolutely flatten something. And it looks like Missile Ship is winning, although I have to say, Cram Ship put a dent on her. And it looks like she's blinded by the looks of it. Don't think she's AI dead though. 
as she wouldn't be moving if that was the case. But yeah, it looks like all the detection is cooked. Um, yeah, this is why, like, um, you can't really EMP proof, per se, against um, missile strikes like this. I mean, you can, but you have to, like, design your entire craft around that. Um, you really gotta use active defenses. You gotta shoot down those missiles or distract them. And so the second round of this will probably be quite different, uh, because uh, this thing will have flares on it. So yeah, I think, yeah, this, this thing's not aiming its weapons at all, so I'm calling it there uh, within, like, just over two minutes. Which is actually pretty similar to what happened last time. But yeah, so let's go and do round two, just for the sake of science and blowing things up and entertainment. Everything looking good? Yes, it is. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I ate a burrito. I ate a burrito. And now the burrito is inside me. Where else would it be if I'd eaten it? I don't know. In the toilet. Why did I go there? I'm terribly sorry. Alright, so now... Uh, we're just gonna have missile ship on the right, crime ship on the left. And away you go again. So round two, it's probably gonna go pretty much the same. Uh, it depends a lot on just how lucky those first cram shots are. I don't think any missile silo managed to get disabled uh, in the last fight. And that's a big whiff, so that's a... Uh, that is a problem. So I'm just going to follow... That does look cool, all those missiles just heading off to their destiny. Also, the fact that these ships really like closing in on each other. I should really change their AI, but meh. Meh, 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 meh. Wow, yep. I'm actually impressed that the Barbettes are holding up as well as they are. Yeah, just glancing blows. Glancing blows. Yeah, missile ship should not get in that close, really. Can't believe I forgot to do that not once, but twice. Why are you reversing, you weirdo? That's so silly. Why are you heading away in a straight line? You weirdo. See, I spent so bloody long on these ships, and still, still they're not smart. That's right on the turret, isn't it? Yep, okay, yep, that's about as, uh... Although, it looks like the missile ship just took a shot as well. My goodness. My goodness gracious. I should mention as well, the missile ship has a whole extra ammo compartment just because of, uh... Just because of how much ammunition she needs. Looks like the cram ship is blinded again. Uh, somebody told me actually that like an entirely valid way to do detection is just to have a crap ton of wireless snoopers and just leave it at that. I'm implied to start trying that. Let's see if this works. Honestly, I should just hide a 360 radar like... Wow, that got in deep, or it looked like it got in deep. What happened there? Oh, it clipped one of the, uh... It clipped one of the engines. Wow, this is a savage ass-beating if I've ever seen one. Oh boy. Also, I didn't decorate the missiles. It's so you can look at them and remember what's actually on them. That does look pretty cool, I do have to admit. Yeah, Cram's not doing well today, like... Honestly, I'm not sure who would be surprised by this. Uh, especially, like, if you remove active defenses from the equation, missiles are just stupidly powerful. And there's not much you can do against them. But, yeah. Missiles in Front of the Depths are actually kind of weird. They're, like, all kind of anti-ship missiles because they all kind of suck at shooting down aircraft. That is why, by the way, these are 180 degree missiles and not uh, penetrators. Uh, because they tend to hit the deck a lot, and a lot of fragments would just whiff. 
Yep, I think I can call it again. Two minutes in. Cram ship is blinded. Uh, all the superstructure is blown off. And... No, no, I managed to chip 3% health off uh, this uh, whole arrangement. But yeah. Honestly, we're just here to see ships get blown up, I think. I'm not sure what we're learning from this, except that missiles don't miss, despite miss being in the name. And crams could stand for... Uh... Crap, really awful projectiles. Wait, no. Could stand for crap, really awful, uh, really awful management. I don't know. I really, like, talked myself into a corner there. Okay, let's do... So that is definite for 1v1. Uh, missile ship absolutely dominates that. So now let's try the 3v2 and see what happens because fleet battles are always a good idea there's never anything annoying like people colliding with each other so that is a hundred and ninety that is 1.9 million materials and this might actually so we are 100,000 materials off so hold on so if I add one more that would put us to 500,000 materials off, so no, it is 3v2, this is as close as we can manage it. Uh, I am going to put some distance uh, between everybody, just so they're less likely to run into each other. And we'll see what happens, big fleet battle, it's, here we go. I always like doing these uh, uh, ships that are not, these battles that are not just 1v1, because uh, in a campaign, setting, which is where I tend to focus my building efforts towards. Shocking, I know. Like, it feels like I barely play the campaign, although that's pretty normal for From the Depths. Um, that's what's more likely to happen. You don't get, like, perfect 1v1s in the campaign. It's a little bit more messy and chaotic than that. So, yeah. Let's just check to see where everyone is. And so, let's just do this. And we can follow the missiles in as they go. This is a neat angle. Where you go, lads and lasses. And lad lasses and lass lads and... Uh, I ran out of words. Alright, let's see what do. So multiple bits of crossfire here. It looks like our missile ship on the right has uh, caught the attention of most of the cram barrage. And most of those cram things have... That's the biggest difference between a missile alpha strike and a cram alpha strike. Cram the first cram volley of a battle is the one that is most likely to miss. Uh, because by the time the shells get to where they're going, the target has moved. So most likely it's missed. The first m missile alpha strike is the one most likely to hit. Because that's before things like lambs are fully charged up, and it's before the missile system itself gets damaged or anything like that. So yeah, like, definite advantage to missiles and just pure alpha strike uh, for that. I'm not a fan of alpha strikes in general because I always... Um, I'm pessimistic. I just think, like, well, it's highly likely that the bloody thing just won't... will miss, you know. Did we actually knock out a missile silo there? I'm not sure we did. Whee! Let's have a look there. Are you two going to make sweet sugary love on the battlefield? It's pretty even at the moment. Whee! This is your chance to make a volley count, by the way. I really do love those turrets. The rest of the ship is maybe a bit hit and miss, but, uh, the turrets? Oh, hello, you... Okay, no, you're reversing by the looks of it. Hello, missiles are confused. Uh, who's winning? Missile ships are absolutely winning. It's almost like, uh, ships with guided weaponry, uh, rendered are, you know, rendered gunships. Not helicopter gunships, like ship gunships. Uh, obsolete and it's like uh, we're not proving anything that anyone did not already know 
or maybe the crams are just overpriced and bad because I didn't use 3D Tetris. That is a distinct possibility. But then they wouldn't do as much damage in the volume that they do. So I'm torn. I don't know anymore. People say I am the cram man. But even the cram man gets cram fused sometimes. I don't even think I'm the cram man, honestly. I'm not sure who is, but there's definitely people. Actually, like, speaking of cram men, um, some of you might know the name Wellner, uh, who back in the day, very active member of the From Depths community. It's a small community, but like, certain names hop up again and again. Um, he took a long break from From the Depths, but he's back now for tournamenty stuff and still messing with crams. And he showed me the tiny, crappy crams uh, that are like tertiary weapons um, on those cram ships were inspired by something he showed me. It's just the smallest kind of crappy cram possible. It was just kind of fun. Whee! Looks like the cram ships are actually winning, which is surprising. Surge protectors make a big difference, as it turns out. Whee! Let's follow this missile and see what happens. Uh, missile interceptors, by the way, would make this... My goodness. Missile interceptors, by the, by the way, would make this a very different fight, because especially these huge missiles that are so slow would get intercepted a lot, and... Yeah, they would just make a huge mess of things. Also, I tend to find that missile interceptors are not good at intercepting cram shells with a lot of health. Um, they can do it, but it's just not... they're not great at it. Although, if these cram ships keep their distance like this, uh, they might very well uh, lose the lead they currently have. This looks cool, though. Please do not collide with each other. That would make me tremendously sad. We Splat! Looks like uh, not bothering with too much side armor was a good idea. And this is why, by the way, multiple decks, good move. Um, be precisely for moments like that. Those are big fragments and uh, those multiple decks managed to stop them. Which is pretty neat, actually. Looks like they're not going to collide, and that's good. Man, just big shells and missiles flying back and forth. This is fun. I like this. Mind you, don't collide now. This is a lot of cram shells. Deacon's Christmas. The cram cannons in this particular fight seem to be very good at taking out engines. Um, which is good, because uh, the more engines they take out... Uh, the slower these missile ships move. That looked like a Hail Mary shot. Hold on, let's follow the hull. Where did that go? That actually did quite good work, actually. Well, no, actually, it didn't do Jack Diddley. See? Internal armor. Good idea. It does things. Also, these, um, I nearly said bulwarks. What the hell are they called? Um, buttresses? Wow, it's completely slipped out of my brain. The, uh, da, 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 da. Damn it! It's not on my head anymore. Thing. Battleship, the... Ah, oh, no. Casemate? No, not casemate. Um... Damn it, I have no idea. I've just... I, I think I said it earlier in the video, and it's just out of my brain. I think it might be past my nap time. Brain no worky. Brain no worky whatsoever. Have the missiles stopped going? No, the small missiles are firing. Okay, there's a, me there's a missile over there. Oh boy, there's collisions happening over there by the looks of it. Well, let's hitch a ride on this missile over here. This is cool. This is cool. This is fun. Da, 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 da. 
Whee! Alright, looks like those two collided. But... They seem to have gotten better now. Here's a random thought, actually. Um, about, like, cram shells. And how to make them a little bit more fun and possibly useful while not making them overpowered. Make them much faster, like to APS shell levels of speed, but make them more inaccurate. That way you still get the kind of thrill of, like, will they hit or won't they hit? Uh, but also they don't miss at point-blank range because the shell is too bloody slow. Because accuracy is pretty useless if the, you know, if the world is different by the time the shell arrives, you know what I mean? Damn it. I want to learn to mod from the depths just to see, like, you know, what would happen if that was the case. Whee. But then also I would be interested to see if, like, what would you happen if you made missiles, like, twice as fast, but, uh, but with half the health? That could be pretty good, I think. Maybe, or maybe that would just screw with detections, because there is a long-running issue... Um, with projectiles and from the depths, particularly missiles, uh, of them phasing through blocks in really annoying ways. And that's because, like, you know, there's only so many calculations the game can do per second um, for a projectile. I think it's about 40, uh, like, calculations per second it can do. Uh, so if it's moving too fast, like, it can... In terms of predicting where it's moving, by the way, so it means that it can, if it's moving too fast, it'll clip through blocks. So, that's a problem. I think maybe the missile ships are gonna win this if this keeps up. Those... Damn it. I don't remember what they're called. They're doing a good job, though. Took multiple large and huge missiles to the face and managed to shrug it off, mostly. Okay. Wee! Cram shell, we're following it. There's also something to be said for missile ships. Um, I've forgotten what it's called. I can't remember anything today. But um, there's something to be said uh, for the fact that like you can really hide missiles deep within the ship, or craft in general, really, and that keeps them safe and makes it a lot harder to kill them. Uh, so this kind of Hang on, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look that up. Because it is driving me nuts. Okay, battleship. What the hell is it called? Did you guys collide again? You bloody well did. Why did you do that? Guys, stop making sweet sugary love on the battlefield. Oh wow, someone got hit in the air. In Whoa, no way! AI dead! Holy bananas, okay, wow. I was not expecting that. Managed to take out not one, but like both AIs. Well, that's uh, AP crams for you. Um, they can do that. They have the power to do that. Whew, lordy. Alright, well, now it's a three-on-one. That just goes to show you, like, the difference um, that a weapon being cheap can make. It can mean an extra ship uh, firing an extra four or eight armor-piercing guns at you. Let's see how well you do. It's not looking good for you now. Battleship turret... Barbet! That's it! That's the one. Barbet. That's the one. I, like, I knew it started with a B or a C or something like that. A fixed armored housing at the base of a gun turret on a warship or armored vehicle. There you go. Why did that fall out of my brain? That was freaky. It just, it just was in there and just went like... Pop! Gone. Not in there anymore. Non-existent. Gone. Looks like this fella has lost a lot of firepower as well. Whee! I actually do kind of like how these ships look. 
I'm getting the hang of like, it took much longer than it would have me making a canoe, but you know what? You gotta push yourself sometimes. You gotta push yourself for the sake of, um, for the sake of science, for the sake of entertainment, for the sake of educational, for the sake of educational scientific entertainment, kind of, sort of, not really. Dude, this guy's all the way over there. Oh wait, no, that's one... That's one ship. Where'd the other one go? I thought this guy was two ships colliding, but I guess not. Uh, you two going to... Get back here at some point? These guys should really be made more maneuverable. They do have a uh, turning... By the way, they do have a turning prop hidden... Uh, hidden in the stern. Uh, it doesn't seem to help that much. They also have turning props like hidden in the... What? What the hell is happening here? That missile ship is still disintegrating. And this fella right here is down, but not out, but is really struggling to aim. Yep, really struggling. Still has one turret firing, though. Never mind, pretty much. Wow, pretty much all the turrets are firing. Alright, as it turns out, bar bets are an excellent idea. So, are you guys gonna get back here at some point? Alrighty, let's see if this missile ship can uh, make magic happen. It is noticeably burning through materials faster than the cram ships are. Or at least it's lost a lot more. And missed. Maybe I should have tweaked the cram canister aim for blocks above water, but... You know, that means they'll be aiming for the superstructure the whole time. And that's a- Whoa! Hail Mary shot. Looks like, uh, artillery support is still a thing. If you look at the map, actually, let's go over here. Yep, there's one shell coming in. Probably the timed frag. And there's more coming in. Whee! This is exciting! It's going it's like somewhat similar to what I thought, like the 1v1s, missile ship, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no problems. Absolutely trashing the place. Oh wow, that's how it takes out the AI. Put, like, just removes the AI compartment. That's one AI, but there's still uh, another one. Please, no collisions. I would hate that. This guy has been scalped. Like, all the superstructures just gone. Huh. Yeah. And here I thought this was a crap design, because it couldn't 1v1 an Eerie. Actually, it can. What am I talking about? Well, not even you can miss at this range, can ya? Are both the huge missile silos disabled? Yep, it looks like it. Like, are these guys taking damage? Oh, wow, look at that. Artillery sport coming in. Oh, wow, that was the, that was the front uh, AI, not AI, ammo compartment. Wow, that just went up like a wow. Well, so much for making it chain reaction proof. Ooh, boy. Alright, so this guy has uh, very little ammunition left. Is the other ammo compartment still doing fine? The answer to that might surprise you. Uh, it's no, actually. This thing has no more ammo left. Or does it? Nope, it does not. No more ammo. This thing cannot fight anymore. 
and has pretty much no materials left whatsoever. It is still lobbing the odd missile, so... But it's not going to be able to take uh, destroy all three of this, and this fight is going to take too long otherwise. So yeah, round one of the 3v2 goes to the cram ships. It uh, turns out being like something like 350,000 uh, materials cheaper means you can have more guns in play at once. That's cool. Right, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Boop -a -doop, boop 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 boop. I have no idea what music I'm going to like put over this afterwards, so I have no idea if the music's actually going to fit that. It's probably going to go together about as well as um, uh, mayonnaise and skittles. So sorry if that did terrible things to your ear holes. Ooh boy. Can you please load in and start existing because I would really love to see you. I spent an embarrassingly long time uh, on you ships to get only very basic looks for you. So yeah, that would be super good. Right here, let's see. Let us see, let us see. Let us see. <laughs> so, probably going to be quite similar to last time. And the cram ships have managed to shoot themselves somehow. I don't know why they do this. I really wish they wouldn't. Those look like... Nope, they fell short. And... That was pretty good cram volley, actually. And are we following a huge missile? Yes, we are. And we get to see... It is quite nice just hitching a ride on a missile. And then you can just watch the carnage unfold. And I barely have to do anything. I love doing nothing. That's kind of a lie. Doing stuff is better than nothing, generally. And this one ship going off on its own. Just drawing a lot of the missiles away from its friends. From its friendly friends. We And crams go kablooey. And we get to see a big mess made happen here. Just slowing down time a little bit. See what happens. See if that improves performance. It does not. And there goes your propulsion, I think. Nope! Propulsion's good. Propulsion's all good. Let's follow this cram shell. That's the great thing about this particular fight is that all the projectiles are slow enough and big enough that you can easily lock onto them and track them. Let's see, how far did that get in? Not far at all, wow. Inertial fuse might have triggered. That... what did that do? That got... no, that got in. Whoa, yep, oh wow, that tickled her. Uh... And that's another reason why uh, empty space is a good idea. Sometimes what that means is that uh, a time after impact fuse, like, punches in and just explodes in empty space and does basically nothing, so... Yeah, handy. Handy dandy. Also, I'm aware that these missile ships look basically nothing like a modern uh, missile armed ships. I was working off the same hull, alright? And I did the more complex one first just to make my life easier. Yep, this missile ship is getting bullied. It's getting bullied. It's getting schmullied. Whee! In real life, of course, like, how this fight would go is, um... Basically what would happen is, like, um... A single one of these missile ships would lob one missile each at each coming cram thing. And just sink them from, like, over a hundred miles away. And the, uh... The old, the old style armed with cannon ships uh, wouldn't be able to do jack diddly about it. So, that's that, I guess.
Is there a missile ship over there? Cram ship over there. Cram ship on the left. Cram ship on the cram. Whoop! Sorry, ship is what I meant to say. Didn't mean to say the other thing. Naughty, naughty. Um, hello, rendering. Yeah, this is the kind of angle that these cram ships want. They're just making. They're just punching straight through all that uh, metal and alloy and just, well, blowing up the engines. And blowing up that turret. Wow. And blowing up that missile silo. I do remember that um, the dev who uh, basically changed missiles uh, greatly back in the day. Um, as part of the missile mod he made, this is Drabo we're talking about. Um, controversial figure. Um, but, uh, one of the things in this missile mod was, like, penetrator missiles, which is, like, kind of similar to modern, uh, bunker buster bombs. I say modern, I mean in real life. Uh, those things would be absolutely terrifying. So imagine a cram shell, but it's a missile and it can punch through, like, 10 meters of metal. And, uh, yeah, that was not included in the game, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, balance reasons. It would uh, make the game tip very, very firmly over to the side of missiles uh, being very, very strong. And that would be bad. Alright, so yeah, the Team Cram is doing very well. They're just able to weather those missile barrages enough and keep talking to each other so that so long as one of them still has some detection, uh, the others can do stuff. So I'll ship over there, cram ship over there. Whee! Cram ship, cram ship. Thought that thing was a torpedo for a second. Whee! Yeah, so say in the comments which ones you prefer using. I'm. Uh, missiles or crams. I'm almost certain most people are going to say missiles because missiles are just so much more convenient and just more general purpose. Uh, you might get the odd cram gunner in there. I honestly like both. I understand the pros and cons of both and why people might like or dislike them. Uh, one of my biggest problems with missiles is, like, you know, it's so damn hard to make a nice anti-aircraft missile. And also, I hate how expensive they are. Like, I don't object to them being as expensive as they are, but I do just, um... They're not really in my playstyle for that very reason, because it's like, alright, a huge missile like this one is a gamble. Like, it's a huge investment of, like, materials, and if you... Like, if you don't, like... Did that... Is that thing AI dead? No, it isn't. Why are you aiming over there, you fool? Uh, but anyway, so it's a huge investment. So if it doesn't do its job, that's a lot of wasted materials. As opposed to a cram shell, uh, where if it misses, well... What can you expect? That was probably gonna happen. That one cram ship over there is probably... The worst at steering in the entire world. Oh boy. Ah, my throat's raggedy. I actually live streamed earlier the day uh, that I was recording this, so... I should probably take a break and not wear my voice out because that's, uh, that's bad. You don't want to wear your voice out. Like, that that's the end of the sentence, really. Can't really say more than that. Time to suck on a water bottle. Whee! <laughs> Did I say suck on a water bottle? I meant gargle with a water bottle. I hope no one was disgusted by that. Or at least not disgusted too much. Please no collisions. What did those do? It's interesting to see what those little tertiaries do. They actually kind of... I'm not sure, they kind of just... They're here for emotional support, let's be real. Whoa! I see you're still assisting! <laughs> Bloody Nora. Yep, still very much assisting.
Well, there's probably going to be a collision here. Or not. Maybe we'll get lucky. Right, so why is our friend here immobilized? I think it's because they're... I think it's because their engines got taken out. So in a weird way, this is a... Uh, or maybe... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh, this is kind of an example of like, alright, what do you want to take out? Which is better to take out, detection or engines? The answer is both, of course, but, uh, whoopsie daisy. Boop. Wow. Looks like the missile ship caught the worst of that. Well then. You're not looking very well. Yeah. Team Cram. Still very much in the lead. Team Missile, not doing super great. That one cram ship in the back there, I think maybe its rudder got blown off or something, because it is not closing in very well. So this happens. It tends to devolve into 2v2, and then a third guy saying, like, I'm here too! Don't forget about me! I'm relevant! Yeah... Uh, there's a lot of, uh... Looks like a lot of stuff is being blinded. Blinded by the light! I actually want to test that now, just like having a ship and it just has a bunch of wireless snoopers and like that's all its detection. I want to see how well that actually does, because you don't underestimate the wireless snooper. It's got lousy settings on it, but um... The more wireless uh, connections that an enemy ship has, the more accurate the snooper becomes, so... Yeah. It's quite handy. Uh, this guy is n now blinded. He can't see anything. Or she. Or they. Whatever. It! This uh, fella is immobilized. And uh, this one is just... I'm not sure how many turrets it actually has functioning. And our friend... Where the hell is the last... Cram ship. Just buggered off over the horizon. Jeez. Guys. I might have to call this one a draw, and that's annoying because, uh, this video is kind of long, you probably noticed by now, so, uh, a draw means, uh, sudden death in the third round. Oh boy. Oh no, this guy's also blinded. Or not. Okay, every so often, like, the guns wake up and are like, Oh yeah, we got a job to do. Let's miss our targets at point-blank range. But this missile ship is still missile-ing. So there is that. Hello, are you pretending to be a torpedo? Nope, you're... Oh, that's a sneak attack! It was a sneak attack the whole time! Holy crap! Do 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 do. I can't believe I've set myself up to do this, like, again, but with, like, the ships being different. Okay... Whee! Well, that didn't do anything. Oh boy. Well, I am going to fast forward through, uh, through this bit, and we'll wait for something interesting to happen. So, see you after the time skip. Well, hello, hello. It's nice to see you again, except I can't literally see you, but never mind. It has been a little while. Uh, this fight is going very slowly. The healthiest cram ship is still way off in the distance. Uh, the One of the missile ships has been immobilized, the one at about 74% health, and has been left stranded. And two of the cram ships can barely fight anymore, so this has been a long slug, but... Uh, 
It's gonna be the cram ships who win simply because their team has the most health and they have that one cram ship uh, which still has functional weaponry mostly and they'll get over here eventually and the missile ships are basically crippled like this one over here most of the silos are like damaged to the point they can't do anything um, like that one missile ship I think it can't even fight at all and the cram ships are just very slowly chipping away uh, at the other team and yeah and that's it 10 minutes is up that's the usual time limit the cram ships won so that's a very interesting kind of setup so 1v1 of course the missiles win but given how expensive they are uh, if you balance it out and material wise as much as possible crams do win they don't win dramatically but bear in mind this is uh only the first round of this and we're going to add in a bunch of active defenses to both these ships and we'll see how it goes uh, once they're chucking uh, things at each other with lambs and interceptors and decoys and all that kind of stuff so if you enjoyed this video well thank you and thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and share the video if you want to see more videos like this support me on patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And this one perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Totally scientific combat testing. Farewell.